The House of Mouse isn't the only animator with great cartoon romances. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 animated couples, excluding Disney. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be going over the best animated couples from films, other than those made by Disney. Number 10, Manny and Ellie, Ice Age franchise. I want us to be together because we want to, and, and I want to be with you, Ellie. A pair of prehistoric mammoths, Manny is a grumpy widower, while Ellie is fun-loving and was raised as an opossum. They're an unlikely coupling to be sure, but circumstances bring them together and lead to love, even if they don't get along at first. Maybe because you're a mammoth? Me? Don't be ridiculous, I'm not a mammoth, I'm a possum! Right, good one. I'm a newt. They soon start a family, bringing a daughter they adore into the world. And though they continue to disagree, often over how to handle the various dangers they encounter, their love and desire to protect each other is apparent in their actions and body language. You might say Manny and Ellie's love is downright elephantine. Number 9. Bruce Wayne and Andrea Beaumont – Batman Mask of the Phantasm Nice footwork. Can you dance too? Before he was Batman, Bruce Wayne met Andrea Beaumont while they were attending Gotham University. Their romance showed a different side to the future Dark Knight, and almost derailed him from his destined course when he proposed marriage to her. What do you say? However, she ultimately broke off the engagement to go to Europe to help her father, who had gotten himself in trouble with the mob. Andrea's return is painful for both of them, and complicated by the fact that a masked vigilante is murdering her father's associates. In the end, it's revealed that the murderous phantasm is none other than Andrea. It makes for a haunting and effective parallel between the two ex-lovers, while their fundamental ideological differences keep them apart. Can we make it work this time? I want to say yes. But you know it's going to come down between me and your father. Daddy doesn't matter anymore. Number 8. Flint Lockwood and Sam Sparks – Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs franchise Do you think we could still work together? I think we will work great together. The forecast for these two nerds is definitely sunny skies. Flint Lockwood is a madcap, excitable inventor, while Sam Sparks is an ambitious but often self-conscious weather intern. When Flint creates a machine that turns rain into food, the pair of them are brought together for a positively delicious romance. I like you, okay? Like, like as a friend? No. Oh. Like, like you, like you. Each is supportive of the other, with Sam supporting Flint's inventions, which have long gone unrecognized by his family, and Flint encouraging Sam not to hide her intelligence to fit in. Their adventures in romance and culinary weather and fauna are absolutely adorable, and thankfully can be found on the small screen too. Number 7. Felonious Grew and Lucy Wilde – Despicable Me franchise If I'd asked you out on the date, what would you have said? Are you kidding me? a reformed supervillain, and his secret agent partner in crime fighting. Felonious Gru and Lucy Wilde are a wonderfully odd couple. Gru is quirky, and despite his nefarious past, very sweet. While Lucy is equally offbeat and loves the action of their job. While their first encounter is less than auspicious, tasers generally don't bode well. Their mutual crush that blossoms into romance is both heartwarming and hilarious to watch. Meanwhile, their eventual partnership in marriage, parenthood, and in battling villains is both strong and rather cute. Let's get him! Oh, honey, he's my brother! We'll give him a five minute head start! Number 6. Megamind and Roxanne Roxy Ritchie Megamind While we're on the subject of supervillain romances, Megamind is a diabolical yet goofy alien villain who develops romantic feelings for reporter Roxanne Ritchie, who had previously been his most frequent target for kidnapping. The two develop something of a friendship through their many interactions, though their romance doesn't really begin until Megamind's nemesis appears to die, leaving him with an existential crisis. To stave off his melancholy, or melancholy as Megamind would say, Melancholy. He begins spending more time with Roxanne while in disguise. Would you still enjoy my company? Of course. You don't judge a book by its cover or person from the outside? Oh, that's a relief to hear. Their budding relationship is nearly undone when she discovers who he really is, but a new villain helps them both see that Megamind and their relationship have the potential for more. I have to admit, being good 
has its perks. Number five, Manolo Sanchez and Maria Posada, The Book of Life. I will never, ever stop loving you. These two childhood friends have to endure plenty before they become a couple, including supernatural manipulations and death. But their love is all the more sweet for it. Maria is the feisty daughter of a general, who's no slouch on the battlefield herself, while Manolo is a bullfighter who yearns to be a musician. I can't help falling in love with you. Despite teasing him on occasion, Maria is very supportive of Manolo's dreams, while his devotion to her extends to the afterlife. Together, theirs is a romance that not even death can derail. No matter where you are, I'll be there. Number 4. Emmett Burkowski and Lucy Wildstyle, The Lego Movie Franchise Lucy. I really like that name. Opposites often attract, and these two LEGO characters couldn't be more different. Emmett is an outsider desperate to belong via conformity, following directions for nearly all his tasks and rarely thinking for himself. Meanwhile, Wildstyle is incredibly independent, being a skilled builder and fighter. While Emmett falls for her at first sight, Wildstyle initially dislikes him due to his stumbling upon the destiny that she had yearned for, while displaying none of her talents. I wanted it to be me, okay? I wanted to be the special. Over time, though, they each manage to bring out the best in each other, with Wildstyle showing Emmett how he can stand out and Emmett showing her that it's okay to work with others. And you said I was talented and important. That was the first time anyone had ever really told me that. And it made me want to do everything I could to be the guy you were talking about. Number 3. Dmitri and Anya, also known as Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia. Anastasia. You didn't take the. I couldn't. Why? Because I. Despite meeting his children, Anastasia and Dimitri don't reconnect until they're young adults, when he ropes her into a scheme to impersonate, unknowingly, herself. Now going by Anya, the amnesiac duchess and the conman often clash while he and his friend Vlad coach her on how to act like royalty. The duo bickers and flirts all the way to Paris in a thoroughly charming romance full of memorable moments. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to give you a, um... A compliment? Of course, yeah. While the villainous Rasputin threatens to tear them apart, love conquers all, proving strong enough that social status doesn't matter either, and leading to the couple sailing into the sunset together. Number 2. Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III and Astrid Hofferson How to Train Your Dragon Franchise. Come here, you. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Vikings aren't typically the group one thinks of when it comes to romance, but this young couple is among the cutest animation has to offer. Hiccup has crushed on Astrid for many years, and the feelings may have been mutual, but it isn't until he trains a dragon that the two start truly connecting. Could it be this way? Cause... I could get used to it. Their relationship buildup is excellent, particularly when you include the expanded universe on TV. The duo does nearly everything together and is wonderfully supportive of one another. As of 2018, they're currently betrothed, and we can only hope as Hiccup puts himself. There will always be a Hiccup and Astrid. Always. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Can we try that kiss over again? <laughs> I think we can. Number 1. Shrek and Princess Fiona, Shrek Franchise I love you. Really? Really, really. Shrek is a cantankerous ogre, while Fiona is a princess cursed to become an ogress. Although Fiona initially rejects Shrek and that side of herself, their shared interests and Shrek's love for her, no matter what she looks like, show her that they're meant for each other, a sentiment she echoes in the first sequel. I want what any princess wants to live happily ever after. <laughs> With the ogre I married. Watching the two of them fall in love and their bond grow over the years, as well as seeing them become parents, has been wonderful. True love isn't always pretty, but it always warms the heart. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.